Hey there friends, we put together a really quick video today on gun safety in the home, more notably for children. Now we're not like the anti-gun people out there and classify 19 year olds as children in order to skew our numbers. We're talking about children, uh, namely young children that may not understand the importance of firearms and, 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 and the dangers that posed by firearms because we're going to have to put a little bit of trust in the parents at some point to teach those children the dangers of, of the firearms in their home and to hopefully encourage those children not to engage with those firearms in any kind of way without adult supervision. Now, with that being said, again, we're focusing on the children who may not understand. A, a child that still may see something like a firearm as something that's somewhat mysterious, has a little bit of mystique to it, um, something that they don't have access to all the time, that they may feel like they, they need to engage that, but to, to satisfy anything else, even if it's just curiosity. Now we're going to keep this video dedicated to storage of your firearm at your bedside. Many of us store a firearm at our bedside for one reason or another, but mostly in the event that somebody attempts to break into our home in the middle of the night. We want to have access to that firearm, and we want to have pretty quick access to that firearm. Here's some do's and don'ts that you might want to Consider if you in fact store firearms at your house now and you have little children and look folks I have a special needs son. My son um, Does not understand the dangers of a firearm So I have to approach this in pretty much the same way because he doesn't understand the dangers of that firearm Regardless of where it's stored and what it's stored for now Here's a couple of ways. I do not recommend storing a firearm at your home Obviously don't lay it on top of your bed stand It's too easy for a child to just walk right up grab the thing and God knows what they're gonna do with it Once they get their hands on it No matter where you put this thing even if you put it on the best book there is like right here It's still not safe to simply put this thing in a drawer now, one thing I like to use is a biometric safe. There's tons of safes, some that you can put a combination into. I like a biometric safe. This one here, you press a button to activate the biometric reader, put your finger on it that's been pre-registered, and it opens the lock on the safe, allowing you to access your firearm. And when you're done with it, you simply slide the firearm right back into the safe, press the button, and it re-engages the lock, making the gun safe again. Now, I want to stress again, the main thing I'm talking about is children who either don't understand the danger because they're too young or they're impaired in some kind of way. That's what I'm really trying to focus on. We as parents have responsibilities as our children get older and understand things to implement gun safety in a really, really rigid environment to where they understand the dangers but also respect that firearm. Let's face it, there are children out there, I've heard of 14 and 15 year old kids who have thwarted robberies at their homes simply by knowing how to effectively and properly and safely use a firearm to get rid of that burglar or that potential attacker that's trying to break their way and make, make their way into their home. Friends, it doesn't matter what the precautions are that we take as parents. Nothing can replace simply sitting your child down and talking to them. If you act out what could happen, talk to them about what could happen, explain to them about what could happen, take your child to the gun range and show them what kind of damage a firearm can actually do. Shoot a watermelon, you know, shoot targets. Let them see the massive force that a firearm actually has and let them gain that respect that you and I already have of these firearms. There's nothing that you can do to replace that. Talk to your children. Explain to them. Explain to them the difference between toys and actual firearms. Explain to them what to do. Whenever they see an unattended firearm, don't approach it. Get away from it. Call for help. Find an adult. Get somebody responsible involved and don't try to rectify the situation yourself. Don't let those children try to solve the situation by moving or transporting that firearm in any kind of way. Back off, get help. Look, unintentional firearm fatalities are down 65% in the last 20 years, 65%. That's because we're doing a better job at teaching our children the rights and wrongs and the dangers and the true respect that comes with being a responsible firearm owner. 